Girl, I can't lie. <gasps> oh my god, guys! Boop. You know? <laughs> this is my funeral dress. Hi guys, it's Chi Chi. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. But I have to keep it a little bit quiet because I'm filming this video at 4 a.m., okay? But today's video is gonna be all about me cleaning my closet. I want to incorporate a lot more fashion onto my channel and I feel like a great way to start off with that is to just clean my closet. Um, my closet isn't really big. I've been watching a lot of other people's closet cleanouts and they have these massive, walk-in closets and it's just filled with clothes and they have so much space but that's not really the case with me i don't have a lot of space i only have half of a pretty small closet the majority of the clothes in my closet i don't even wear so i'm just gonna clean everything out i'm gonna donate some i'm gonna sell some maybe if i get super duper rich and successful i'll have my own walk-in closet but until this space is gonna have to do. If you're liking what you're seeing already, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more content from me, and let's get into it. Okay, so here are how things are going to happen. I'm gonna make three piles, a sell pile, a donate pile, and a throwaway pile. For the sell pile, that's basically everything I'm gonna be selling on my Depop at Chichi Okibe, if you're wondering, and for those clothes, it just has to be in good condition, maybe worn once or twice, and it just has to be clothes that I think someone else would really, really want. Then, for the donate pile, it can be a bit more raggedy, not good enough to sell, but not terrible enough to throw away. Then for the throwaway pile, it is clothes that are in really bad condition, holes, rips, etc., and I'm just gonna discard all of that. Yeah, so that's basically all we're doing. Now it's time to decide what we're gonna keep and what we're gonna let go. Hi guys, this is my closet, but not all the clothes inside of my closet is mine. I share the closet with my sister. As you guys know, I have a lot of siblings and this house isn't enormous, so we can't all have our own rooms, own bathrooms, own closets and all that stuff. So we always have to share, which sucks, but you know, family. This is Nika's side and this is my side. The problem with my closet is not even that I have a lot of clothes. It's just I don't have enough space. Like yeah, I'm looking at this right now. I want to take out like at least 75% of it. So let's just get to taking things out. Okay, this is my funeral dress. Whenever someone dies and I have to go to their funeral, I wear this dress. But no one has died yet. So I kind of want to give it away. But like, I feel like if I give it away, then someone's gonna die and I'm gonna need this dress because I need to go to their funeral. Um, I'll just keep it. <laughs> I want that, I want that, I want that. I, uh, no, I don't need this. What the f Oh my god. This is my school uniform. I'm actually done with high school. By the time you're watching this, I'm not gonna be a high school student. I just wanna take this time. I definitely wanna take this time. And I want to show you guys how many Pilates shirts I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight of the same exact shirt. Some are long sleeve, some are short sleeve, but I have eight of it. So actually later in the video, I found two more pullovers. Then off camera, I found another Pilates shirt. So actually that means that I have 11 pull. Eight plus three equals 11. 11. <laughs> I need to go back to school. Um, even though I just got out. Anyway, um, yeah, it means I have 11 Pilates shirts that I need to donate. Just wanted to put that in the video. I no longer go here anymore, so I'm definitely just gonna donate all of this because I don't know anyone who would want to actually buy my school uniform. Obviously, as you guys are already seeing, I'm not very sentimental with clothing, or I'm not really sentimental with clothing that I have a bad attachment to. Um, once we get to the far shit, that's when we're gonna actually start crying. I'm kidding, you guys are never gonna see me cry. So during this time, I was just sorting through my closet, trying to figure out what are the things that I wanted to keep and what are the things that I wanted to either sell, donate, or throw away. In this part, I was kind of just rambling about things for a long time, so that's why I sped it up. <laughs> oh my God, 
Guys, look, this is my homecoming dress for 2019. I don't remember much from homecoming, honestly. I don't even have any pictures. I got this back when I was obsessed with windbreakers. Oh my God, this is like 26, not even, 2018. But like, I was so obsessed with windbreakers. I wanted every single windbreaker in every single color. Oh my God, guys, look, I have two of the exact same shirt of schools I don't even go to. <gasps> oh my God, guys. <laughs> Every single Sunday, I would wear the same dress to church and my mom would be so mad at me. I'm pretty sure somebody at church actually asked me if this was the only dress I owned and I said yes, because it was. All right, remember when I said I don't really get sentimental about clothes? Well, I lied. The further I got into my closet, the more in my feelings I got. Especially when I saw my class of 2016 middle school shirt. You know, the shirt where everyone writes their name on the last day of school. I also got a bit sentimental when I saw my high school uniform skirt because I realized I was never going to wear it ever again. If you're one of those people who have a hard time letting go of clothing, here are some things you should consider. When was the last time you wore it? We all have clothes in our closet that we haven't touched for a really long time. The question that I asked myself in this process was, have I worn this at all in 2020? And if the answer is no, then we gotta throw it away. The next thing I asked myself, does it fit? It has to fit you now, not it fit me two months ago, it fit me five years ago, blah, blah, blah. It has to fit you now. If it doesn't fit you now, don't have it in your closet. The next thing you can ask yourself is, can I style this with three or more outfits? Oftentimes we pick out clothing and we just have no idea how to style it. So if you can't style it with at least three outfits, then I would say ditch it. And for these three clothing pieces, they all had negative answers. So I had to remove it from my closet. Hi guys, we're on the floor. This is the floor of my closet. This is a mixture of NECA's and I's stuff, mostly my stuff because NECA owns nothing. This is kind of just where all the clothes that slip off the hangers go and it just never gets rehung. And also I have a bunch of bags just like boop, you know? So I'm gonna take some time and just go through everything. And if I see anything that's like worth talking about, then I'll talk about it. What is this? Oh, I wore this for my family pictures. Another school uniform, nine. Ooh, my gosh, are my workout pants. Finally, I've been looking for these. Keep, knackers, 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 knackers. Two seconds ago, I said none of the is hers. And now all the is hers. This is knackers. Ew, overalls. Who's wearing overalls in 2020? Oh my God, another Pilates shirt. 10. I feel like something that's really common with roommates, especially if you're sisters, is just violating each other's space. A lot of the clothes in my closet were NECA, so I just kind of shifted it all to her side. You know, a lot of people would be like, oh, you're so rude for this, but like, your clothes shouldn't be on the floor, period. So I kind of just shifted everything to her side, picked out the things that were mine, and yeah, it's just the only way things can work in this room so yeah that's, that's just the way things are gonna go oh my god guys random guitar what the f didn't even know it's the punches are to row it you got to keep it focused why don't you say so have you guys told me time and time again that i can't sing Yes. Am I still going to sing in my videos and act like I have some sort of Whitney Houston voice? Yes. So that's what I always do. Um, so now I'm just kind of shoving my bags into my closet, just trying to hide it as much as possible. Um, and I'm just really trying to clear out that floor area as much as I can. There was a lot of random stuff in there. So I just kind of had to shove it in like shelves and just behind things. And I just tried to get everything as clear and as clean as possible. I found shirts that I didn't even know existed and yeah, that's it All right guys, that's it. That's it for the video. If you guys enjoyed give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel for more content from me um, I'm gonna try to post every Wednesday and Saturday. So keep on a lookout for that um, Yeah, that's really all I have to say um, I'll see you guys in the next video Girl, I can't lie. Bye. And like a you, 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 you watch her back it up she do that da 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 da
Sir.